In the beginning of the film, we see a bride who was getting ready for her wedding. Her groom was also getting ready in his room. He went to the groom's house to get married. He had six friends who had come there in groom's attire. When the bride came there to get married, she saw a woman there. She was holding a small child in her hand. Seeing this, the bride became very sad. She thinks that if she gets married today, she will never have a child. But I like children a lot. Now the bride didn't have any such problem that she couldn't accept. But still, why was she thinking like that? We will get to know the answer to this later. Now instead of going ahead in the wedding, she runs away from there. Because she didn't want me to regret going ahead for this wedding. Now the story has come to the past. Here, the bride and groom had come to a place to take a vacation. Here, the bride shows her finger and says, look, my finger is still empty. There is no ring in it. When will you put a wedding ring on this finger? The groom said, don't worry. I will get married to you very soon. And you know that the company in which we are working, we will have to think 10 times before getting married there. Because there are some rules of our company, which you know about. After that they went to a bar, and there they drink and dance a lot. There was an old couple sitting here. Seeing them so happy, they also become very happy. Now the husband of the old couple says that when we got married, we were just as happy and full of energy. Now the bride and groom say that we are not married yet. We have just come to take a vacation, so that we can spend time together. On which the old couple says that no problem, you will also get married, because marriage is a very beautiful relationship. It's been 20 years since we got married. We have spent these 20 years very well. Until date we love each other as much as we do. In the present time, when the bride ran away from her wedding, then the groom calls her and says please come back. The bride replies that I have made up my mind, that now I don't want to get married, and I have also made a plan to get out of here. The groom says that you know very well that the company will not let you go so easily. They can also harm you. I am worried about you. The bride replies angrily that you don't need to worry about me. Okay, I know how to take care of myself. Saying this, she hangs up the phone, and she comes to her dad's house which was in the middle of the jungle. Her dad didn't stay here. In fact, he used to come here to take a vacation. Now the bride goes inside and closes all the windows and doors. And looking at her dad's picture, she starts missing him. And she cries and says that dad, you were right, that I shouldn't have followed this line, because this is a big mistake. I made a big mistake by not listening to you. I regret it a lot today. Actually, the bride, groom and all her friends used to work for a secret company. The company was gangsters, dangerous people because of which they used to kill everyone, that too, mercilessly, just for the greed of money. Now the bride and groom decided to get married later. According to the company's rules people can get married, but they still have to work for this company. They can get married, nothing more than that. Even if someone gets married, they can't have a child. But if someone has a child, it will be against the rules. And they will be punished for breaking the company's rules. That's why the bride ran away from this wedding, so that she can get out of all this. Actually, this dangerous world was such that no one could get out of it. That's why the groom was calling her back. But she was determined that she will never go back, no matter what happens. So to cheer herself up, she started singing. And she started drinking and dancing. Because now she wanted to spend her wedding day. Now the groom suspected that the bride must have gone to her dad's house. That's why he sent his friends there. They came out so that he can bring his bride. Now these six friends got out of the car. And seeing the bride's car there, they were confirmed that she has come here. Now the groom's closest friend, who was his best man, calls the groom and tells him that friend, you guessed it right. She is your bride. We are going to bring her soon. The groom says that he loves her a lot. So make him understand and bring her safely. Don't fight so that she doesn't get hurt. But the best man knew that the girl is so strong that she won't come without fighting. That's why he tells his friends to start looking for her soon. Then you have to do anything for her. Now when they all came to the main door, they came to know that all the windows and doors are closed. Although they tried to break the door, but they didn't break it. That's why the best man tells them to separate and search. Surround the house from all sides. And when you find the way, go inside. Now when those people were looking for the way, their voice is heard in the bride's ears. That's why she looks out of the window, where she found out that the groom finally sent his people to catch her. She is now going downstairs to take her phone, but then she sees the best man outside the window who was about to enter. Seeing this, she got scared. That's why she starts running back inside. She started trying to run from the back door, but there were two men there too. That's why she closed the door and came inside. The best man had come in through an open door. The groom starts looking for her everywhere. The bride realized that they were entering the house. That's why she goes to the kitchen and picks up the knife for her safety, and goes to the upper floor and comes to the secret room made there. All those people came inside and gathered at one place. 
where the best man tells everyone that we have to catch the bride alive and take her with us. So you just deal with her, but don't kill her. Today the wedding was going on very well, but she ran away from there and did a lot of wrong things. Although she knew that all of us are working for that dangerous company. And because of this, the company's owner is very angry. He will never leave her alive, because he knows that the bride knows about the company and all of us very well. And if she goes and tells the police, then all of us can be caught. Now we are shown the stories of the past, where the bride and the groom met that old couple again, which offers the bride and the groom to come in our boat. It will be a lot of fun, because we will enjoy a lot there. Then the bride and the groom accepted their offer, and they brought them in their boat. In the present time, the bride was sitting in her secret room with a knife. After a long time, she opens the window and looks out. When she realized that the road is empty and there is no one around, then she came out and ran away from here. Then she starts her bike and starts running away from there. But suddenly a friend comes in front of her, and because the bike's speed was low, he pushes her. So she falls down and she gets hurt a little, but still she got up, where the man says that you can't run away from here. Saying this, he slowly started moving forward. The bride showed him the knife and started threatening him, that if you come near me, I will kill you. The bride attacked him and started fighting with him. He grabbed the bride's scruff, but here she acts smart. She grabs her scruff with her legs, and then she removes his scruff with the help of a knife. She lost a lot of blood, because of which she dies on the spot. Now when she starts running away again with the bike, now another man comes here to catch her. That's why she ran back inside the house, but then both of them surround her. One of them was tall and the other was short whose height was very small. Now the tall man kills him and throws him down, and then he beats him a lot, but she doesn't give up. In this way, he gets up after giving him a slap, and she attacks him with a shovel and beats him so much, that she kills him. Now seeing this, the tall man got very angry. He says that I won't spare you. He picks up the chainsaw which was a blade weapon, and he tries to pull his rope and make him run, but it was not starting. Seeing this, the bride gets up and hits him hard, because of which he falls very far and he fainted on the spot. Now when the bride started running away from there, the best man sees her. He started laughing at her. That's why she saves her life and runs back inside. She came to the room upstairs, where she locked herself, and she sits with a golf stick in her hand. On the safety rope, the best man tells his remaining companions that the bride is hiding upstairs. And now I will go to catch her, not you guys, because he has already killed two of our companions. Now in the past we have seen, that when the bride and groom came in the old couple's boat. Then they really enjoyed a lot. Here the old couple again says that we have spent our 20 years very well. Saying which the husband started telling stories. But we are like a dolphin in the water. Where there are sharks too. Which kill all the dolphins at once. But the dolphins are so smart. That they waste the shark's hair. Now hearing this, the bride and groom understand. That they are talking about us. And they have come to know who we are. And what purpose we have come here for. Now the old man opens a drawer, in which the gun was lying, with which he quietly hides it from the plate, because he knew that these are dangerous people. So now there can be danger here too, but when the bride comes there, then she sees the gun. In the present, all of them go up to catch the bride, because now they had made a plan, that we will go inside again and again and face her. She will not be able to compete with everyone, she will get tired and get injured, and in this way we will easily catch her. That's why now this first boy from among them goes inside from which the bride comes from behind and catches him, but he started killing the bride by getting himself released, but that was not less, after all, he also got good training to fight that company, from which he uses his skills here, when that man caught the bride, then she keeps her legs on the bookshelf and goes around, and after coming behind her, she started beating him a lot, after which she strangles him and kills him, now another man came here, by climbing on his stomach the bride starts killing him, but by taking him down, he started killing the bride, then he strangles him. And after beating him a lot, he says that you can't defeat me. By saying this, he takes out his knife and goes towards the bride. But here the bride cleverly snatches the knife from him. And puts it in his legs. Due to which he started suffering from pain. Now he was already in a lot of pain. Where now the bride finally removes his throat and kills him. Then she kept this knife with her and came out of there. And she runs towards her car. When the bride came near the car, she realized that I don't have a key after which they both came near the bride, and the best man showed her the key and said that look, this is with me. And now she beats the bride a lot, and she started saying that now you will have to go with us. The best man tells his companion to beat him a lot and make him feel bad. So he himself started going inside the house, so that he can celebrate that we caught the bride, and we were successful in this mission. 
Now the best man's friend tells the bride that I liked you a lot. But I can't go against that company. He had hidden a knife with him. Due to which she stabs him in the eye. Due to which he started suffering from pain. And by suffering like this, he dies. Now the dying bride said to him that do you think that I was leaving by taking the car? No, in fact I was acting. So that I can trap you in my trap and kill you. Now when the best man came out to check what happened. He was very surprised to see his companion's dead body. And then the bride comes and grabs him. And she stabs him in the scruff. He says that we had considered you our friend. Then why are you beating us? The bride says that we all work for the company. Okay, so there is no friend of anyone here. And now you call the groom and tell him that I am dead. The best man was very scared of his threat. And he calls and lies to the groom that the bride is dead. And he couldn't believe it. Because he knew that my bride is so strong and smart. That she can't die so easily. After which the bride removes the scruff of the best man in a snap. Due to which he also dies very mercilessly. Now Bono comes here and tells him that I am still alive. So you can't escape from here. Now the bride gets angry on hearing this. And she goes ahead and attacks him. She beats him so much that once again he becomes unconscious. But when he regains consciousness, he finds himself tied up. And in front of him was the bride who was about to start the dance. But making fun of her, Bono says that it doesn't work kids. So you can't beat me. The bride also answers him very well. She says that she was actually out of gas in the dance. But now I have filled it with gas. She says that she will start the dance. And finally it starts. Due to which he got very scared. And he begs the bride to leave him. But she doesn't listen to him. And she attacks him with a chainsaw. She removes him into two pieces from top to bottom. Due to which Bono also dies so terribly here. Now let's see the past scene. Actually when he met the bride and groom couple. When they came to celebrate the holidays. Then they were actually on a mission. Actually the old couple were also the members of that gangster's company. But later they fell in love there. After which they left the company. Because now they didn't want to do any more wrong things. The company was looking for them to kill them. The company had sent the bride and groom so that they kill them. He takes out his gun and shoots the bride and groom. But then he saw that the magazine with the bullets was also gone. On which the bride says that I had already taken out that magazine. Because I knew that this time was going to come. And I had also seen the gun. The old man is sad and says that I also knew that this would be our fate in the end. So kill us. We had guessed that the company would never leave us. Hearing this the bride and groom took out their guns. Shot both of them and killed them. In the present time the bride is wounded and the blood stained groom. And the groom is very happy to see her alive. He said that I knew that I can't die like this. The bride tells him that there is still a chance. Come with me so that we both can go far away from this company. The groom replies that till when will we run? Wherever we go that company will find us and catch us. After which our fate will be only death. The bride says that you have forgotten. That couple stayed away from the company for 20 years. And I know that that time must have been very happy for them. The groom says that when we have to die one day. Then why should we waste 20 years? Why should we spend it like this? That's why I can't stay with you. But yes I want to dance with you for the last time. Saying this he put his hand forward. The bride also put her hand in his hand. And they started their last dance. And now one of them had to die. And then the groom really attacks him. And they start fighting. But the bride drops the bottle of alcohol and breaks it. Then she picks up a piece of glass and puts it on the groom's scruff. And that's how his painful death happened. After which the bride remembers that time when we had gone to celebrate the holidays. And we had decided to get married there. And we were so happy together. But today came such a time that I had to kill my love with my own hands. And now she gets up and starts going from here. But she was very sad about her groom's death. And then the bell of her mobile started ringing. When she checked it was the company's call. And the name of the company was University. That means the company will not leave her. And with this the story of this movie ends here.